My channel almost got deleted. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do more of a topic video, me almost getting banned or permanently deleted from YouTube. I don't know if you guys know really how YouTube works, but they got these things called strikes. So like once you get your first strike, that strike never goes away. And then every strike after that, it will kind of go away after a 90 day period. But when you get a strike, you can't post or do anything for seven days, which is really frustrating because not only can you not post content, but you can't even let anybody know about what's going on that you can't post to wait tune in all that kind of stuff so pretty much all the videos that I've been in trouble for have involved Kratom and I pretty much stopped posting about it for a while probably since my last strike now the strikes last about 90 days I got one strike was unable to post for a week decided to wait after that 90 days and I wanted to do another video on Kratom so I did one and I gave the most warnings I could possibly give I told people not to buy it people were saying that I was promoting dangerous content I was trying to sell things which I was not trying to do even though I put up the biggest warning I could possibly think of not only did they remove monetization and delete the video but they gave me a strike for it so I pretty much got it at that point that YouTube wants nothing to do with Kratom and if I had known that I would have never posted anything about it what's so frustrating to me is there's no one to really talk to there's no line like you go over this line and that's really it the amount of stuff I'm recommended on YouTube prison stories to all sorts of illegal drug stories from every single possible one and they're up on YouTube and they're recommended to me and people are cussing and it's violent and all this stuff I'm just a little bit confused like I get that it's Kratom and like I'll never post about it again 100% like hopefully you will at least allow me to say that word in this video to let people know that I'm not gonna post about it and I never really wanted to make anybody angry on this platform there is a part of me that is pretty edgy but is when it comes to this channel I've kept it pretty PG I mean there's probably only 10 or 15 videos that I legitimately cussed in besides that I don't really post it in my videos I'm somebody who like half the time I could cuss a lot and it's actually kind of funny and I get kind of mad and and will rant with cussing I think it'd actually be pretty entertaining but at the same time I have no problem having a conversation that has no cuss words at all if there's kids around I don't ever really feel like I'm holding anything back so I could do both sides and I've never really engaged that really aggressive side. When it comes to YouTube, it's like I post little reviews on all these gray area stimulants and it's like, I don't, like if I know that they're gonna be mad about certain ones or I can't post something, I won't post it, but I don't really know. To continue with the story, I recently got the strike for the newest video that I posted and I was like, all right, that's it. I'm not gonna post about Kratom ever again. I recently got over that week patch and every single time I want to get on here and make a video to you guys and explain it but as soon as the ban got lifted I don't know I just wanted to put it past me I already had videos shot ready to put up for you guys so I just did that but this time I don't know I feel like I have to sit down and just explain my thoughts on it so again like I said I had the one strike I got it pretty recently I gotta wait three months for that initial strike to go away and then recently at like five in the morning, it was, it's a week ago now, but when you see this video, it will have been two weeks since. They randomly gave me a strike for an older Kratom video that I did in March. I mean, at that point, I was just absolutely devastated because I had more Kratom videos up. I had about eight or nine. Some of them actually are some of my most highest earning videos. As soon as I got this second channel strike, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna make all these videos private. If I have to delete them, I will. I don't, I wish somebody would communicate to me like what I gotta do to not make people mad and be able to post here because my channel was never again, it was never really about border pushing. Like if there's something you don't want me to talk about, I won't because like there's so much stuff that I can talk about. I've gone through so many issues that if there's one issue you don't want me to talk about, that's fine. Maybe I can create a website and post videos about it there. I'll just leave it alone, you know what I mean? So now I'm on the second channel strike. Again, like I've made private all my other Kratom videos, but I just have so many like gray area videos to where it's like, you know, if you guys are mad at Kratom, it would make sense that you'd be mad at the modafinil analogs, at DMHA, DMAA, I don't even know. I actually made a really interesting video about these older diet pills 
pills from like the 60s and 70s. They're very similar to amphetamine and I found it very interesting. I made a video like, hey guys, I wanted to show you these old diet pills that very few people have heard of that are essentially amphetamine, but I was just like, I don't even know if I want to post that now. I mean, even though they're legal, they're prescription, it's like, I don't know where the line is. And they said basically, if I get a third strike that my channel's pretty much almost gonna be deleted, like I have this seven day grace period to kind of like argue with them or like fight for my channel back, but you can appeal these decisions and I've appealed every Kratom decision and they don't tell me anything other than it's denied. Again, I wish there was some sort of line like, tell me where the line is and I won't go over it. The amount of YouTubers that I watch that show like violent movie scenes in their videos, they're cussing, it's just like, but all their videos are fine, they're left up and they have full monetization, like I'm getting tons of ads on it. I just, I'm a little bit confused. This channel is something I've never given up on. Like some people have come on and be like, hey, didn't you take a break from YouTube or this or that? And I've never given up on YouTube. It's something that I just don't feel good if I don't do it's hard to explain like I'm always trying to make sure that I have content coming I'm you know thinking about future videos if it gets to be a few days without posting like three or four I start feeling really bad as soon as I post I feel a little bit better I don't know if you guys have been knowing my post schedule but I wasn't posting as much videos as I wanted to I would say I averaged about two to three videos a week and seeing as how my videos a lot of them are like they're not top tens they're like a five six seven minute video it's like I want to give Give you guys more content if you don't like this video here's another video like i'm always got something going like if you haven't checked out my channel for a week you come there's like a whole bunch of new videos i went through an extremely stressful situation this march it kind of just made me a little bit of like a workaholic for a little bit and i got used to posting more videos and now i just love my new schedule like i probably post four to five times a week now and i just get so much more support everything is so much better and i'm like finally i get to be a better content creator i'm like more invested and now i gotta worry about everything being taken away and like I don't make that much money on YouTube but if my channel was deleted it would be so sad because like if I were to stop right now or if I were to stop like a couple months ago I would just be getting little bits of money for these videos for as long as YouTube is up but if they decide to remove all my videos even though it's not that much money I'm up to maybe like five to six dollars a day on YouTube which is just I mean as passive income that's fantastic I mean again am I gonna maybe pay a bill bill or two yeah that's nice it's not gonna pay my rent it's not going to cover everything but it's just really nice so to risk that to have that risk being taken away and then i don't really take too much pictures of myself maybe it's because i'm a guy so it was kind of cool to see my own progression like I don't really like watching my older videos. Like they always make me cringe. I don't know why, like even just any video that's older, even if it's a couple months, it just makes me cringe. I don't know why. It would be so sad for me to lose not only all those videos, but there's a lot of personal stuff that I've uploaded to my YouTube unlisted. So if I just go through my unlisted videos, like I see all these stored memories that I uploaded, you know, that I felt like are gonna be untouchable forever. And no, the risk of this is insane. I'm just gonna try my best to be as fair as I can if I do get deleted for something which could happen again I got like probably two two and a half months of being under these strikes so at any point if they pull up any random video if they have any problem with anything it's gonna give me a third strike and then I'm probably gonna get deleted because they don't help me with any appeals i don't even know what's going on and like this isn't a video trying to bash youtube i'm just like i'm trying to work with you if you tell me the boundaries i won't cross them i just don't know really know what they are but anyways guys it's been a crazy crazy experience for me i won't post anything about kratom if there's anything that i know is going to bother people i won't post about that either but this video will probably be the first video that i put up as soon as my ban is lifted i know i'm gonna have a lot of videos ready for you guys i'm going to be tempted to drop like two or three videos a day just so you guys could catch up but for some reason when you drop multiple videos a day they just don't do as good as if you drop one so i probably will drop one maybe i'll drop one with this one so this is like the explanation video and then you'll have some of my normal content in case you don't want to see this and you want to see something normal maybe i'll do something like that but anyways guys i just really wanted to check in praying that i don't get deleted people have warned me to 
to not post about Kratom that your channel will get nuked. Like, literally somebody said that and I was already backing off. Then I completely backed off, you know, wasn't gonna post again. And then I had to make all my videos private. A pretty solid chunk of my money is gonna be gone because some of my best videos were from Kratom, but it's, it is what it is. I have no problem removing them if it makes me okay on YouTube. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of YouTube. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.